Levon Serum, the evening show at 6. Powered by Rustlin, 100% pure music. Levon Serum, the evening show at 6. And welcome back after that short commercial break. You guys are watching the Levon Evening Show at 6, part by Rustlin, 100% pure music. And now the guests that we've been waiting for since the past, well, 30 minutes or so are finally here. So let's welcome them. Welcome to our show. We have with us Milin Soman, who needs no introduction, but I'm going to introduce him anyway. He's a supermodel, an actor, a fitness, produ a fitness promoter, and also a film producer. We have with us Navrat Joshi <coughs> Ji, who is organizing the Pinkasan in Nepal, and the ever-beautiful Nagma Shrashta. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you so much. Thank so we don't have uh, much time left, so let's just get into the down of it. Sure. Um, how did the Pinkasan begin in India? So I had this, um, I've been running endurance events for the last 14 years and I've seen the, the kind of journey that endurance running has had in India and uh, for a country like India which has no culture of sport or fitness or exercise, it's become quite a movement, it's quite a, revol a revolution in fact. Uh, and though I saw that, you know, fitness events, uh, running events were happening all, all, ac all across the country, in fact, uh, you know, rotary clubs, colleges, schools, political parties, whoever it was, has started organizing running events. The participation of women was very, very small, maybe seven or eight percent. Mm. So I, I just thought that we'd create a space which is like an opportunity for women who don't run, who have never run, to come out and take their first step toward fitness and we'll see what the response is. Because generally what happens is women think that if it's a, it's a regular running event, running is not for them, it's for men. Mm -hmm. You know, or they feel that, you know, if there are thousands of men there, you know, if I go there and something happens, you know, who will take care of me, you know, those kind of things. Or, I'm not used to wearing these kind of clothes, you know, a little t-shirt or shorts or skirt. They don't, they're more comfortable in saris and salwar kameez. So we said, let's create a space where women are comfortable and see the response. So we said, this is the first women's running event. Starts with three kilometer walk, or five kilometers or 10 kilometers or 21. And the response was fantastic. So the first time we did the Pinkathon in Mumbai, we had about 2,000 women participating. Wow, okay. But the third time we did it in Mumbai, there were 10,000. That was how it grew. And we took it to, last year we took it to about 12 cities in India and we had about 75,000 women participating. And not only that, uh, it was then taken up by people in other cities saying we want to bring the Pinkathon to our city, mm -hmm. which was what we always wanted. I mean, how much can um, I do personally or the Pinkathon or the USF, which is the foundation that runs the Pinkathon, uh, how much can the one foundation do? So the whole idea is to get people outside to take the initiative and say, we want to organize a women's running event. And I would have been very happy if it was just they organized a women's running event, but they said, no, we want to do Pinkathon. Okay. And uh, we think that the kind of guidelines that Pinkathon has, the kind of philosophy, the sensibility, that is something that is attracting women. And uh, everywhere in India, now, you know, a lot of women have heard of Pinkathon, so they're comfortable saying that, you know, okay, let me take my first step with this event. So uh, I was very excited when uh, you know, I got a call from Namraj and he said, let's take the Pinkathon to Kathmandu. And that is what we want. We want uh, just women's running events to, to happen everywhere. And this message that, uh, the message of Pinkathon, which is in fact, uh, women need to take out a little time from their very, very busy days, busy schedules for themselves. Right. To think about their physical health, their mental health, their emotional well-being. Because so far, and in, not only in India, and I'm sure in Nepal, but all across the world, we, we are in a patriarchal society and women are taught to neglect their health. In fact, they now think it's normal to neglect their health and we want to change that mindset. So this is a small step uh, that we've taken, but the response has been fantastic. So Nauraji, what prompted you to bring <coughs> Pinkathon to Nepal? Uh, number one, I was born in a cow shed of Nepal in the far western district of Baithadi. Oh, okay. So I was born in Nepal, but I've been living in Mumbai for over 43 years now. Mm -hmm. For me, this was happening all over. I was excited. The basic philosophy and the objective of Pinkathon is what appealed to me. And then, of course, I've been a huge fan of the Iron Man since a very, very long time because we have grown watching him. So these two things gelled together. And then what I thought is, why not do it in Kathmandu? And since they were planning to go international, this is what I heard. So I thought, why not Kathmandu become the first international destination? And I was on this case. He's been very kind. He's been very cooperative. And that's why I thought of getting Pinkathon here. Okay. And Nagma, what are your roles as a brand ambassador of Pinkasan? She just wants to run the 10K. Oh. She's dying to run 10 He's kilometers. She's been challenging me since I met her <laughs> to run for the 10K. But I'll definitely be running on the event day, that is 24th of February. Mm -hmm. uh, as an ambassador, um, 
Well, it's uh, my responsibility to advocate about Pinkathon. And uh, something that I want to share is I've been following Pinkathon since a long time because Pinkathon India Mahuda Kheripani, different television channels or news channels that they coverage court here. Uh, Nepal Mate, uh, I used to see what Pinkathon is and it had participation or here the hair say. secretly I used to wish that Nepal Mapani I could work to Ram Rontil because Nepalese people, Nepalese women especially, they need to know the importance of what a healthy lifestyle can lead them to. So this is uh, I guess I they started off with uh, by focusing to increase awareness about breast cancer. But uh, on the other hand, also to increase awareness about why fitness is important, why healthy lifestyle is important for a better living. Start So they wish for it. I did a pura boyo and in Amraji Lepani Aboyam. I but she uh, he proposed me to be the ambassador. So I was happy to you know um, advocate about this mm -hmm. very cause, and I hope that everyone watching us, you know, you also are ambassadors yourself. So please encourage your um, to the males. Uh, encourage your wives, your um, daughters, your friends to participate in this. I'd like to say everyone to just, you know, come and participate. Okay. Yeah. So um, how do you think Pinkathon can empower women in the long run, not just for a day, but in the long run? Well, I don't think even that Pinkathon is just, just for women. I think that if we want to change uh, the, the mindset that we have globally, that, you know, people really don't think much about health. In fact, there have been so many polls that ask people, like, what is the thing, what are your priorities in life? You know, in that, in that list, they have family and they have health. And everybody, 99% almost, say that health and family are top two priorities. And then they ask them, like, what do you do for family and health? They say nothing. Right. So, you know, we think it's a priority, but we don't mm -hmm. act on it. So it's not only important that women understand the value of an active lifestyle or making healthy choices or right decisions. But by their example, when they do this, they will inspire healthy families. They will create environments in the home where children are brought up uh, valuing health and healthy practices. So it's not just about the women itself. It's about changing the mindset of society as a whole. OK. So in Kathmandu, when, when the marathon is happening, are, are there going to be seminars or people teaching women about fitness? Or is it just going to be show up run, finish the race? <coughs> there is going what to be an extensive, ex extensive promotional campaign. Mm -hmm. We would be working around a lot of women organizations. Okay. Uh, we are planning in coordination with his team in Mumbai. We are planning a women's training running program. Here. That's as far as the running is concerned. So get them interested. Mm -hmm. we would, at the event, if you're talking about the event, you should see some of the videos which we would share later. It's wonderful. The whole place, the event, it would start from Rangashala. Mm -hmm. The ladies come in and there he's there on the stage. And then the music plays. There's warming up. So, you know, the whole place is energized. Oh, the minute okay. that happens, then the 10 kilometers and 20 kilometers, we flag them off and they run. But basically, the 3 and 5 is where the whole thing is. You know, ladies talk to one another, they look at one another, they laugh one another. And the amount of variations that the people have come up, creative <coughs> variations. Recently, in one place, they had mothers carrying their babies. So, you can imagine wow. that's the whole thing. Grandmothers, and let me tell you before he tells you that, his mother is 77. She ran the 10K in the Mumbai Pinkathon. So that's how we encourage people. We would even be having a, a lot of uh, cancer awareness uh, campaigns. And because the Nepal Athletics Association is in association with us, they have offered their technical help, so we take, part of, take care of that. And then Nepal Cancer Relief Society is also our social partner. So we would be working a lot. And probably this, as you rightly said, this would not be just the day. This would continue till the other Pinkathon next year that we would oh, do in Kathmandu. Okay. And probably during that time, we may spread Pinkathon to maybe five districts of uh, Nepal. It could be Pokhara, it could be Dharan. So that's what we're working on. Oh, okay. So have you ever run a marathon before, Nagma? Oh, not yet. So <laughs> how, how physically fit are you? Um, well, I do exercise every day. Um, I go gym, actually. So he asked me the same question, uh, the first question, I believe. So do you run, Manir? So I just told him that I run on treadmills. <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward for the marathon. And I'll be warm up So I'll be running on the day. So hopefully 10K. With For your mom? sure. <laughs> yes, with what my mom. The, what about the push ups? And the push ups, yes. Well, the people so, uh, who are participating need to do push ups as well? Well, oh. they should. They don't need to. <laughs> they don't need to, but they all should. Right. I mean, we, we want to try and promote all kinds of um, healthy practices. You know, people sometimes think that to be fit, they have to go to a gym and work out one hour a day or two hours a day. But they don't realize that 
healthy practices means throughout the day, small, small things that you can do should be incorporated into your lifestyle. Like, like, like you for example, if you have an elevator, there is no need to use the elevator, the lift. You can climb up the stairs and go. You know, people just miss these small things. If you want to just go like uh, 200 meters or half a kilometer to the market, you should walk uh, and, and should create that time where you can do these things. You know, so all, all the choices that you need to make from moment to mo moment, they should be healthy choices. So whether, like, you don't need to go to a gym, you can do push-ups at home. You can do a plank at home, you can do squats at home, you can do all kinds of exercises at, at home whenever you have a few minutes. You know, so it's that simple. So um, your mother who ran for the marathon, is she the one who instilled these fitness um, values in you or do, are you responsible Well, she for definitely encouraged in it. Our... She encouraged it a lot okay. because I started swimming at the national level when I was nine years old. And what happens generally in, in India, we are so focused on academics that by the time you're 13, the family starts telling you, look, okay, enough now sports. Sports is not going to give you anything. Sports is not going to give you a job. There's no career. You have to study, you know, so leave everything and start studying. So most kids who even are talented and have a future in sport or can really do something in sport, they leave it and uh, just start studying. And then they don't get back to it till they realize that they're going to have health problems at the age of 40. So I was encouraged, actually, even my, my, all four of my grandparents were doctors. My father was a nuclear scientist. My mother used to teach biochemistry. So even, even so, even though it was a completely academic focused background on studies and everything, she said that, why can't you do both? You know? And that's how I could continue swimming competitively till the age of 23. And today, at the age of 52, I realize that those 13 or 14 years, the kind of, it was like a gift, you know, that my mother gave me, that she encouraged me to continue and, and learn about myself. So sports for me is all about learning about yourself. It's about exploring physically who you are, mentally who you are, emotionally who you are, even spiritually uh, who you are and where you come from. And you, you just learn, learn so much. So uh, all of that kind of led me to, uh, to where I am. So she in fact started sports or, or an active lifestyle. She was active because she was a teacher. She was always you know, mm, going to college, move. coming back from college on the move. But she started trekking at the age of 60. Wow. So now at the age of 77, she goes on a trek at least once a month. And she walks about seven or eight kilometers every day. She does the Oxfam Trail Walker, which is a 100 kilometer event once a year. So she's, uh, she take, she's, she's just very, very active. And again, to me, it's not really about exercise. It's not about lifting weights. It's not about running 100 miles. It's about being active. The whole thing is that in, current, in the current generation, in the last few decades, we have become very sedentary. Most of our jobs, most of our lifestyles about sitting. And we need to reverse that. So we need to bring in activities forcibly into our lives so that our bodies function better. Right. What? I talk a lot. You can tell me to keep no. going. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, so um, how many uh, women uh, are we expecting in the Pingasan in Kathmandu? Uh, I, for a matter of fact, see, I, go, I go by my gut feelings. And my gut feeling says that we should cross 5,000. And as Nagma says, if Mumbai can have uh, 10,000, why can't we have 11,000? So right. that's, you know, that, that's the idea. So that's the way. But as he rightfully says, people started with 2,000 and I'm sure million would be happy with, you know, 1,000 and maybe 1,500. all the participants should be happy. Yeah. Because what happens is these 1,000 women or 2,000 women are going to go back and they're going to inspire all the women around them. They're going to tell them that story that we went here and this is what we did and this is what we saw. And it's not, it's not that you have to be an athlete or you have to be a sports person. Anybody can start at any time, any age, whatever background. If you've never run in your life, you've never exercised in your life, this is the time you can start, take your first step. And as a community, you know, so you see, you see hundreds of women, there are thousands of women there who all believe that they are important, that their health is valuable and they have to work to maintain it. Mm -hmm. right. So, 10,000 women, Nagma, do you think you have that kind of PR? Um, uh, well, we have one month of time for the event. Uh, so, we have thought of lots of promotional activities within this uh, period. And uh, for this um, um, uh, first initial event, we are targeting actually 5,000, at wow. least 5,000. Okay. Wow. 
So we are in touch with lots of colleges, school. We would want participants from all generations, you know, <coughs> on 30 years ko matter hona par sare. Sorry, designer, young girls and senior girls in their mid 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Anyone can participate. It's open for everyone. Fitness mein lagi rahe ko wahan wahan ko lagi matter hai na wahan ibhav na bhai isse na. It's for everyone. It's just that you have to be happy. To be running in the event, I mean, yota afno prayas matro will power down upon you. This was she talking, so it is doable, and I hope that you will also run with uh, us. I'm going to try. <laughs> so, um, how can uh, we participate in the pinkathon? Is there registration? Is there any kind of formalities? There is a registration. We are working on one module. Is the online registration that okay. uh, has is to be free? No, it's going to be 500 Nepali rupees, okay. and that would uh, give you a T-shirt. Mm -hmm. It would give you a lovely medal. Is that the T-shirt that you're wearing? No, it would oh. be a white T-shirt. Oh, okay. this, this is, is the ambassador T-shirt. This is the ambassador. Oh. So okay. Nagma is an ambassador. Mm -hmm. Namraj is an okay. ambassador. I am an ambassador. In fact, I'm also wearing the same T-shirt. Well, I'm inside. all pink. I'm not. Yeah. You would be an ambassador. Very soon, yes. you'll have that okay. too. Yes. Have well, that too I don't have a T-shirt yet, but yeah. <laughs> 500 rupees. No, which a T-shirt. And a lovely medal. The medal is made by the tsunami survivors from coastal India. Wow, okay. A beautiful thing, which unfortunately I can't show you right now. And of course the snacks. And we're not going to charge for that. Right. So it would happen online. But since in Nepal, it's not done online most of the things. <coughs> we would have it, of course. Offline registrations would be done at most of the centers of NCRS, again. And a few partners that we have authentic. So that it makes it easier for people to go there and pay the money. But then we would try to get that online also in some way yeah. so that everything is registered and the ones who are registered get an intimation either through mail or SMS. That's how it is being worked out. Okay. So then if people want to come on the 24th, mm. that is also possible? That may not be possible. Oh, they have to okay. register before. Yes, that may not right. be possible. Yeah. So because uh, two days prior to that, we would be distributing the t-shirts, the bib. So all that has to be done. Oh, Otherwise, okay. we will not be able to do it. All right. So, guys, if you're watching, um, the Pinkathon is happening on the 24th of Feb. Kathmandu is going pink on the 24th of February, and you have to register <coughs> before the 24th if you want to participate. And um, so, participations are for 3K, 5K, 10K, and 21K. 20. Yeah. Why don't you participate in the 21? That's yeah. what and I was thinking. She, she'll win a First? she'll win a prize to Mumbai. The cost borne if by I us, did, by did, flight, she can I stay did. there at our cost and participate in the 2018 Stand Chart Marathon in if Mumbai. If anybody can do it, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> They've been increasing it every Why time. First, I said, I'll just Mumbai start Pinkathon with five kilometers, lot of people will do and that, then no? he comes up 10 kilometers with my mom. Now he's 21. Wow. If there's 42, then do I should do 42 But you're already well, right? training, four, and four, some of the women are not who are participating. Yeah, after that. It's called evolution. Evolution, revolution in Nakma's life. Uh, Thank there you are so two much. websites. Um, uh, just, just sorry for that. No. www.pinkathon.in is the mother website okay. and then the Kathmandu website is www.kathmandupinkathon.com That's where uh, you can register yourself. You got it guys, kathmandupinkathon.com Register, I am definitely registering if not for anything else but for the t-shirts. Oh. Um, thank you so much for coming guys. <laughs> thank you for and, coming. Uh, thank we you. have a few souvenirs for you from Himalaya Television. Uh, the MTV Roadies is here and um, it is starting soon. So I cannot get up because my mic is going to get all tangled up. But yeah, yeah thank you so too. much. Thank you, thank you. I'll just pass it on. Yes. Thank you so thank much. You thank you so much. much. We'll all get so the Himalaya Rodis is coming uh, to your town pretty soon. <laughs> Please register. The forms are already open. www.himalayatv.com. Ma register. Gonna call again. Form pa na saknun sa yarule. The MTV Rodis is now the Himalaya Rodis only on Himalaya Television. And thank you so much uh, for coming, guys. Uh, Pinkasan sounds so wonderful. I am all up for empowering women. I already feel empowered by just sitting next to you. Wow. And um, so it's happening on the 24th of Feb. Before you go, if, if any last words? Well, everyone who sees this should participate, for sure. I mean, there is, like I said, there is no, it's never too late to start. And uh, we want women all over the world, and we want uh, to start uh, caring about their health. And we want all the women of Kathmandu to inspire all of Nepal, all the women of Nepal to start caring for their health. Namaji. I just want to break Mumbai's record 
if mumbai can do it if amchi mumbai i say amchi mumbai because i am a mumbaiker why can't hamro kathmandu do it yes, that's the only can. thing hamro yes. kathmandu will do it Together. thank you i am bringing all my sisters <laughs> yeah and nagma before you um, go um the same thing i guess since any sabu sanla encourage korsu to to the hedi rakhnu bhai desa kripaya participate karnu hola ra all the male uh, member of the family tapai ko wives or unsan baini or everyone sabai lai chai alikati push karnu paryo फिटनेस में लग्न पर्यटर तब को एटा शब्द ने भी अलग डिफ्रेंस देखा पोजिटिव डिफ्रेंस देखा सो आई होप टू सी एवरी वन पार्टिसिपेशन इन द फर्स्ट पिंक सन इन काठमांडू and i'm sure everybody will be there thank you so much for watching the show guys and we'll be back again tomorrow for now we're going to say goodbye thank you live on serum the evening show at 6 powered by rustlin 100% pure music live on serum the evening show at 6